So here we have an 800 watt pure sine wave inverter by Reliable, WZRELB, 12 volt. Output is a 120 volts on 60 hertz. And it's actually, it just doesn't get much simpler than this. They sent it in this, I don't know, aluminum color. And this stuff is a fingerprint magnet, but uh, <laughs> it only weighs a couple pounds. And the box is uh, about eight and three quarters long, two and a half inches tall and three and three quarters inches wide. It also comes with an instruction pamphlet, 340 amp fuses and a few washers. These are about 19 inch long 10 millimeter cables. On this end here you've got two 15 amp outlets, 120 volt outlets, an on off switch and a screen there and then a small fan right in the center with your positive and negative connections. All right let's hook it up and check it out. All right, first of all, let's check and see if this little reliable 800 watt inverter is actually pure sine wave. And yes, it is a pure sine wave. Yeah, that's a real smooth, pure sine wave on the little reliable inverter. Very cool. All right, we've got it hooked up to the induction cooktop and I'm gonna hold off on that for a minute. I've got it connected to one of my favorite little batteries, this Watt Cycle Mini with Bluetooth so we can monitor the uh, statistics on the uh, app and I'll put that on the screen for you. Supposedly the fan in there is a temperature regulated fan so maybe it'll come on when we first turn it on. And the fan is running. And it quit. All right. So it must be temperature regulated. We'll see if it comes on later as we put a load on it. And then I'm going to test a variety of these little shop tools. I've got a skill saw and a palm sander, a jigsaw and a drill. And of course, these are all quartered 120 volt tools. I've got three different settings on this, 600, 900 and 1300. So I may start at six, go to nine and then see what happens if we try to run it at 1300 watts, which would be over what it's rated at. Supposedly it's rated for a surge of 1600, like for starting motors and that sort of thing. But let me get this camera in the stand and we'll start plugging things in and see how it does. All right, we'll start with the palm sander. All right, that was about 130 watts. So that was a piece of cake. That wasn't even a challenge. Let's try the jigsaw, we'll see. All right, I saw 358 watts on that. So that was, that was a little more of a struggle. And if it'll do that, certainly it'll do a hand drill. No problem with the drill, that was just over 100 watts. That wasn't even a struggle either. So this is a seven and a quarter inch skill saw, so this will be a little more of a challenge for it. Let's try that. All right, so that was impressive. That was all, I think I saw 1100 watts there for a short period of time and it leveled off around 1000. And unfortunately I was just talking, but the fan just came on for five or 10 seconds and it just shut off. So the fan does work on demand as needed apparently. Let's start out with uh, 600 watts. We'll just go on high. See what that gives us on the app there. 58 amps of current, 730 watts. All right, we'll put it on 900 watts. I can hear the fan now. You can hear it, but it, it's not as crazy loud as I expected it to be. 
Okay, 900 watts will go on high. Start. All right, that's over the limit. 800 watt pure sine wave inverter. We're running at uh, 1060, 84 amps through this little tiny inverter. And it's still going. That's 200 watts, almost 300 watts over its limit. Dare we go any higher? Let's see if we can go to 1300. Yep, went up to 1500 for a second and that did it. I could still hear the fan. See if it'll automatically reset. Probably not. I'll probably have to turn it off and turn it back on. Fan stopped. All right, let's go back to the 900. Start it there. And it's back up and running. We'll just let that run for a little while at a thousand watts. I usually don't like to run my inverters at their max, certainly not for a long period of time. But let's let it run here just for a little bit. 200 watts over, 250 watts over. Let's just see how it does. It says 11.7 volts on the battery. The app's showing, uh, what's it showing? 12.4. All right, let's turn that off. That's impressive. So it's running that 1,000 watts with no problem. I do feel a little bit of warmth starting to start inside of the uh, inverter, but it's not hot at all fans cooking away. All right, let's turn this off. Very cool. What a handy little inverter. If you need something to run remote, doesn't take up much space, doesn't weigh a lot. The uh, cables are warm, but they're just warm to the touch. Very cool. So I'll put links for this in the description if you want to go check it out. You can buy them off of Amazon for, I don't know, 50 or $60 or something, I think it was. And uh, that was a fun little experiment. Click the video on the screen now for another video and we'll meet you over there.